What's up guys, it's your boy, the man, the myth, the legend, Pick Droppers, back at it again with a Madden Ultimate Team Season 1 wildcard gameplay video. Now, in this video, you guys see the team 80 overall. We are trying to win our first playoff game of Season 1, and hopefully we do not get bounced out of the playoffs because we are trying to win our first Super Bowl, and so it would definitely uh, be helpful if we got a win. Uh, so that we can get our first Super Bowl win sooner rather than later because it's already October and so I definitely want to get a Super Bowl win. You guys see my top three players and upcoming you guys will see my opponent's top three players and so he definitely has the better team at least from the top three players. Uh, he has the 92 Julio Jones and I recorded this a little bit earlier in the year but you guys see it right there. Beautiful hit by my uh, defense, right or my kick return team, and it ends up costing my opponent taking the ball out, and we end up scoring a touchdown, going up seven to zero. But like I was saying, uh, his team is definitely very good, and so we're definitely gonna need to play better than we usually do because uh, he's. Blocking is probably going to be better. His defensive line is probably going to get more block shed. He's definitely going to get more fluke. And so we just got to play better. And I, like I said, I did record this a little bit earlier in the year. So at the time, the 92 Julio Jones was like, I think, the best wide receiver in the game. And it still is one of the best right now. But uh, it's definitely crazy that my opponent had that many good cards at the time I recorded this. You guys see right there, my opponent ends up overthrowing a touchdown. Definitely sucks for him. You guys see right Bruh. there, definitely sucks that he ends up scoring a touchdown, tying the game at seven. And right now, we're just trying to slowly get down the field, trying to waste a little bit of clock, but not too much clock uh, because we right now, the clock is right now uh, on our side. Uh, because as long as we have the ball on offense, we can keep wasting clock and maybe make this the last drive. I know that's most likely not going to happen, but it might happen. You guys see we end up getting into a third and two, trying to hit the check down, but he ends up covering it beautifully, barely letting the ball go. Fourth and two right there. I did not expect the linebacker to stay with my tight end the whole play, and he ends up batting the ball down. Turnovers on Turnover on downs, which definitely sucks. Uh, but right there, my opponent tries to run the ball up the middle. He ends up fumbling the ball again, and we end up not being able to recover it. Right there, somehow he caught that. I do not know how. He ends up getting it all the way down to my 26. That definitely sucked. We definitely need to make a stop right here. He gets all the way down to the 6-yard line. End around by my opponent. Did not expect him to do that. We end up almost getting him, but... We do not, and he ends up going up 14 to 7. Uh, but we do get ball at half, so it's not too bad. You guys see the flag on the play ends up being roughing the passer, huge penalty. And it was definitely a very rare uh, occasion where you get a penalty called because penalties are so rare in this game, especially a Madden Ultimate team. But you guys see two minute drill. We are driving down the field, down seven. We get ball at half, so all I really want is a touchdown. But not too early, but we do end up scoring the touchdown. Did not want it that early in the game uh, because now he has time to drive down the field, put up points right before half, half, and then go up at half, and then we do not have the advantage anymore. So we definitely need to make a defense a stop right here and pretty much a first down, puts him in field goal range. You guys see right there, he almost hits us for the touchdown. Uh, but he ends up overthrowing him, and I end up getting the user interception right there with Hassan Reddick. What a user beast. And you guys see, I end up bringing it all the way back to the house, going up 21-14. Great defensive play right there by Hassan Reddick, and that was just a beautiful user play, and then a beautiful return. Uh, but my opponent still has time to go down the field, uh, so right now, he's just trying to put some points on. Uh, our hopes are just, at worst, 
give up a field goal, but we didn't want that to happen. He's already in field goal range. Ten seconds to go. I don't know why he didn't call his timeout before. Uh, he ends up throwing it up, and we end up getting the clutch interception, making sure he does not get three points before half. Definitely a pretty big play in the game, in my opinion. And you guys see, I'm right now putting on two clock, trying to waste out the clock, uh, trying to give him the ball with as little time remaining as I can. Hopefully waste out the whole third quarter. And I know people don't like to play versus people like this, but I had to get the victory because he definitely has the better team. And with the EA, there's definitely some fluke. So I did not want him to get some extra fluke. And so I just tried to put up a field goal at worst, make it a two-score game, preferably get a touchdown, though. As you guys see, he's trying to strip the ball. He's trying to go for big hits. He's just not able to make me cough up the ball. Ryan Matthews was such a good player. He is... He was one of the best cards I played with, his gold card. It was just crazy how good he played, and he definitely helped win me some games. You guys see, he ends up scoring right there. I did have him on conservative uh, because I did not want to fumble, and conservative is just OP this year. Until EA decides to fix it, you do not fumble, and you still juke and run at the same speed and at the same rate, and it's as effective, uh, and it's just crazy. And so uh, that's a tip for you guys. Just keep the ball carrier on conservative. And you guys see we're up 14. All we got to make sure is he doesn't score too fast. Beautiful juke right there. I don't understand how I didn't tackle him right away, though. Uh, and he's running the ball. I'm fine with that. That's going to waste out a lot of clock. Each run waste out 12 to 14 seconds. And you guys see he ends up throwing it into coverage right there. Beautiful interception by, I'm pretty sure, Darby that was. And we're just going to waste out the clock end the game with a victory hopefully beautiful hit right there I probably should have fumbled uh, but again like I said I had it on conservative so I would not fumble and I'm just gonna run out the clock and we end up coming away with our first postseason victory and that was definitely a very clutch victory I hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully we can go on and win the Super Bowl thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it's your boy pick droppers and I'm out peace